Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the master cylinder on a Honda Accord. Honda Civics are the same, same, yes, yeah, master cylinder might be slightly different, but it's just, they're both dead in the same spot, you know. Uh, this particular one, it takes a 12 millimeter. Uh, and this, and this one actually, it's easier on this one. Uh, if it's got the, the four cylinder motor versus the V6, um, it, what, they're the same whether it's got ABS um, or non ABS. The master cylinder, um, the reservoir and cap are different. The actual master cylinder cylinder itself is the same, but and they're located in the same spot as long as it's got the four cylinder. But um, like I said the actual master cylinder itself is the same. It's just the electronic sensor that's inside the cap uh, is different. But um, like I said, they're located in the same spot whether on all your four cylinder Hondas, whether it's a VTEC or non VTEC. Um, it's a 12 millimeter and I use a six inch quarter inch drive because they, they're not on their, you know, head bolt, you know, torque tight or nothing. You simply slip it in between the lines to undo the bolts. I'm sorry, the nuts on the studs that come to the brake booster. Uh, if you check on the channel, there's also a video on how to change the fuel filters that's located on the Accords, not on the Civics, but on the Accords, it's underneath the master cylinder. And um, some of your people out there tell you, oh, you have to take the master cylinder off. No, you don't. You don't have to. You just got to fish it up out of there and fish it down in there. Um, so yeah, sure, is it, um, I guess, potentially easier? Yeah. But check out that video on the channel. I said, if you want to know how to do the fuel filter on these cars, so the naysayers out there on the you know, internet and YouTube land and Facebook, they tell you, oh, you got to take it off. No, your, your dealers and Ken Tyler in place, you know, your pet, pet boys, AutoZone, your dealer, They'll tell you you have to take it off because they want to charge you that labor rate to remove the brake system, uh, master cylinder, you know, then refill your brake system with old fluid. Sorry, be careful here. Didn't want to drop that nut that was in the back. You know, they'll tell you you have to, like I said, because they want to charge you that labor rate. But no, you don't. Why I know this? Because unlike all the critics out there in the world, uh, I'm an ASC certified mechanic, but I'll shoot it straight with you. You undo your line clips right here, one right, right there. Undo that clip holding the lines on. Undo this one, so that, and uh, you can flip it about the way. Oh, on this particular vehicle, we're not changing the master center; we're just lifting it up out of the way. And see, so they'll tell you, "Oh, that can't be done. You can't do that." Yeah, you can. You just got to know what you're doing what lines to undo which lines go to the master cylinder which lines don't but that's the difference between someone who knows what they're doing and someone who doesn't oh, I was looking at the lines on the cap here
There you go, guys. So if you're gonna have the people out there, I'll make sure you undo all the clips holding these lines on. That's all you gotta do. Then if you need to, undo the lines, you know, replace it. Right here on the other side. Just unscrew them right off. But there's a little grease that they put on there to help it go in for the plunger. That's all it is, is grease. Now this vehicle, it's not leaking. Um, it doesn't need to be replaced. But we are removing it to do some other repairs to this vehicle. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. Um, if you thought this video was useful and it helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Like I said, and that's how you remove the mesh cylinder on your Honda Accord. And most Honda Civics, like I said, they're the exact same. Exact same mesh cylinder. Even if it's got ABS or non-ABS, this particular one does have ABS. Like I said, the only thing that's different is the actual reservoir itself. The cylinder part of the housing, you know, the mechanical side is the exact same. It's just the reservoir is different with, with the cap. That's all. It's got a sensor inside that cap. But, like I said, if y'all found this, this video useful and helpful and, and helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Y'all have a great day.